Choreographer Agnes DeMille said, to dance is to be out of yourself, larger, more beautiful, more powerful. This is power. It is glory on earth, and it is yours for the taking. Over the past almost 80 years, ABT has engaged some of the most talented female creators and choreographers who ever lived, from Agnes DeMille all the way to Twyla Tharp. And yet, we haven't done enough. As director of ABT, I get so many submissions to review choreographers out there. And the choreography that resonated with me seemed to be more women than men. But then when confronted with the facts, I realized, my God, it's true. It's, it's men that dominate that field. Recognizing that women have been underrepresented in positions of creative leadership, we started or embarked on the ABT Women's Movement with a commitment to commissioning and staging works by the most exciting female choreographers working today. That was the beginning. Now, just a couple years in, we already have five women working with us this season. Yes! Yes, I know, don't be tempted. As America's national ballet company that ABT is helping to pioneer and bring this effort to an institutional level, I think is when people start acknowledging something as serious and it makes a marked difference in the way we impact culture. And the idea of pushing is still seen even if you're farther, so that way you're... Yeah! And then you won't be overcrossed when you get over there. Everywhere I go, it feels like it follows me. I remember someone saying, and she's a woman, you know, and it's like, well, I'm a woman. Yes, of course I'm a woman. <laughs> Release the definition and get back to, like, who are great American choreographers and not the gender. You'll land but uh, one, a little bit downstage, and you're gonna stay upstage as you do that, so that you start to kind of flatten out. To be a woman in this field, specifically a woman of color, makes me an anomaly, and I don't want that to be the case. The reality is that we are always going to be fighting this fight, and I am so grateful to be someone who can perhaps carve a path for hopefully so many others. I do feel like when I have gotten to work with female choreographers, I'm able to connect with them in a unique way. There are so many times when I'll just think to myself, this step must have been choreographed by a man because anyone who's ever danced on point would never give this step. It's just like too mean. I'm really proud of ABT for being on the front line of change and I hope that it will continue to inspire young people to follow their hearts and really go for it. When I see a woman in front of the room giving choreography, I really look up to them as a role model and it's very inspiring to me for my future. I think it's important for young ballet students across the country to look at ABT and to see that a woman can be a ballerina or she can be a boss. And sometimes she can be both. That's really core to what the ABT Women's Movement stands for.